Hello and welcome to this quick uh, video. Uh, here I'm going to demonstrate VAC, the voice activation software, being used in Armed Assault 2. For this demonstration I put a squad of 8 units and 2 vehicles on the map. During the video the keyboard is not going to be used for issuing any commands. I've set up a toggle key to be used to activate the VAC process to both process the commands. This is important as you don't want VAC trying to interpret other chat as commands. So VAT only tries to issue those commands when the activation key is pressed. So it's important that this key is somewhere convenient. It's also important to check the dialogue on the screen when using when issuing the commands. Uh, this ensures that the correct units have been selected and uh, your commands have been issued correctly. And also be careful not to release the, toggles, the, the toggle button too quickly, as sometimes this can truncate the command. And VAC then obviously can't understand it. So for the profile I'm going to demonstrate, uh, I've made three types of commands. The first is the unit selection command. commands. Uh, these type of commands select the units or the squad in preparation for further action commands to be issued. The second is the action commands themselves and these run a series of one or more uh, keystrokes as a macro to apply the action to the selected units. And there's, a, there's little point for example in issuing a mount command unless you have selected some of the units first. So in order to issue the action command it's important that you've issued a selection command first. Uh, the third and final type of command is uh, a menu command. And simply these commands are mimicking the list of menu options that are available to you uh, by way of calling the menu number. And they can be prefixed with an op or a menu. So for example op1 would select menu item 1 and or menu 1 will select menu item 1 also. There are some circumstances in which uh, it's important to issue the menu commands to complete your command because for example if there are several units on, on the map the location on the menu list is going to be different uh, depending on the particular mission or circumstances. So I'm going to demonstrate all these t types uh, in this quick video. Uh, some of the commands are going to be issued in different ways uh, and they've been scripted to save the commands in different ways or to understand the commands in different ways. This adds a bit more realism and provides a bit more flexibility. So for example to select a squad we can use everyone, all, squad and everybody and each of those work equally well. So. I'm going to start by issuing some selection commands to demonstrate how that works and in order to cancel any commands there's a command called cancel which uh, removes the menu from the screen. So to select individual units I can select them one at a time. One, two, four, six, seven. Cancel. All cancel, squad, cancel. So you can see by issuing uh, those commands the units are selected and like I said it's important to, to look at the, um, the icons on the bottom of the screen to be sure that you've selected the commands you want. So I'm going to issue some commands, activation commands now after making the selection so I'm going to select the whole team. Everybody, lie down. Everybody, stand up. Everybody, kneel. Everybody, stand up. Everybody, crouch. So that's an example, uh, crouching and kneeling uh, activate the same command. I'm now going to split the group into two teams. 
so this involves selection and then assigning to the teams two three four five is team blue six seven eight is team red team blue hold your position team red return to formation team red stand up okay so I'm just gonna put some separation between the red team and the blue team team red advance Team Red, return to formation. Team Red, hold your position. So now, now going to issue some individual commands to the units. Eight. Watch east. Six. Watch south. Seven. Watch north. All go danger. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the third type of command, which is the menu commands, because I've got to use this now to get my team into one of the vehicles. Uh, like I said, depending on the number of vehicles, each vehicle can have a different menu uh, item location on the menu so it's very hard to script that because it's going to change every time team blue mount menu 2 menu 1 team 2 Cancel. Team Blue. At ease. Blue Team. Return to formation. Blue team, dismount. Everyone, return to formation. Everyone, everyone, return to formation. Everyone, at ease. Squad formation line. Everyone stand up. Everyone hold your position. Okay, so that pretty much demonstrates uh, in a very uh, quick demonstration um, how VAC can work.
thank you for watching and if you want more information there's some links at the end of the video thank you